Dr. Scott Stripling has previously discovered something similar. Back in 2018, he stood out as truly newsworthy when he found a fired pomegranate, which highlighted the presence of the Ark of the Contract Sanctuary. At that point, the Holy Book researcher might have done something extraordinary. During a dive in Israel youngster and his group on Earth, three relics that he accepts give certain the verifiable exactness of the Holy Book. Archaeologists on Earth lost a city in Israel and find a scriptural mystery in its profundities. But before we go any further, consider subscribing. Flasicist youngster and his group have been exhuming at the antiquated site of Shiloh for a long time. Shiloh is referenced in the Jewish Book of Scriptures and was accepted to have existed during the Hour of the Adjudicators, around the 11th century BCE. Stripling thinks that his most recent discovery lends credence to the biblical accounts of events. His membership in the Near East Archaeological Society serves as justification for his excavation work. Before working at Shiloh, Fledgling has directed unearthings at different locales, for example, Tall El Hammam and Kerbet El Makader, which have additionally yielded huge scriptural relics. In 1922, a Danish group led the principal unearthings at Shiloh, and resulting unearthings occurred in 1926, 1932, and 1981. Tel Aviv College teacher Israel Finkelstein drove a three year removal in 1981 and found bones accepted to be from the Bronze Age. While the Tel Aviv group considered the unresolved issues proof of Canaanite creature penances, Fledgling saw a scriptural association, referring to Leviticus section 7. He accepts that the dates of the bones affirm the association between the occasions portrayed in the holy book. Shiloh holds importance because of its authentic and strict records. The tabernacle and the Ark of the Covenant were believed to have been stored there in the 11th century BCE. It was the Israelites' primary haven. Be that as it may, the Philistines later vanquished Shiloh and oversaw these curios. The city was annihilated and stayed in ruins for a long time. Youngster stresses the significance of his work as it interfaces genuine individuals, spots, and occasions referenced in the holy book. He trusts that by unearthing these locales, they can dive into the accounts of the book of scriptures and associate with God and one another. At Shiloh, numerous significant relics have been discovered, one of which is a sacred ceramic pomegranate. In general, these excavations at Shiloh contribute to a deeper comprehension of the site's history and significance by providing archaeological evidence to back up biblical narratives. The fact that pomegranates are mentioned in Exodus 23:23 as a component of the high priest's attire discovers them at Levitical sites in Israel significant. This demonstrates that pomegranates were the main holy food within the sight of God. Archaeologists additionally found huge containers that were reasonably utilized for putting away food brought to the sanctuary by the Israelites. Furthermore, an enormous store of coins, earthenware shards, and special stepped area horns were found. The unearthing group accepts that these relics are connected with scriptural accounts and may give an understanding into early Israelite faction frameworks. While certain researchers alert against making hurried determinations, the lead excavator, youngster, involves science as an aid and perspectives the good book as a serious verifiable text that enlightens his work. He proceeds to uncover and look for a stage that compares to the scriptural depiction of a sanctuary. Ongoing discoveries at the antiquated site, called Shiloh, have been captivating, with new strategies, for example, wet sieving growing revelations. Youngster's group has even fabricated a portable wet sieving station for different archaeologists to utilize. Stripling's love for the stones and ruins that tell the stories of the past drives him to keep working and remain hopeful and enthused about his findings. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.